Welcome to West Farthing Woodworks. In this video, we're going to show how to laminate small pieces of wood together to form a blank to make a wooden ring. Um, the lamination process is really easy. It just involves wood glue. Um, however, there's a couple of tricks that are involved that can make the ring last a little bit longer, make it a little bit stronger. So we'll bring you over to the bench and we'll show you how to do those things. For this glue up, we're going to use two different species of wood. Purple Heart and Wenge. Now, one of the biggest things to notice when you're gluing something together and you're laminating wood is the grain direction. The grain on all these three pieces go up and down. Uh, if you held them like this, they would go left and right. But here, they go up and down. They travel with this direction of the piece. Now, wood likes to break along the grain. So trying to break the piece this way is a lot more difficult than if I go along a grain line and try to break it here. Um, in fact, I can even bend this piece a little bit. So one of the things that you can do to increase the strength in your glue up is by alternating the grain direction in a couple of the pieces. So I'll start with a piece of the purple heart with the grain running up and down, and then I'll put my piece of wenge in the middle with the grain running perpendicular to it. I'll take my other final piece of purple heart, put that over the front with the grain running the same direction as the original piece of purple heart. This will still give me the lamination that I'm looking for, but because the grain is running perpendicular, it's going to kind of reinforce one another. So there won't be as many issues with the wood breaking along the grain. The next thing that has to be done is the three pieces need to be glued together. Now the best glue for this is just regular old Type-On wood glue, which is right here. Type-On and the red label. You can use Type-On 2 or Type-On 3, it really doesn't matter. One of them has a little waterproofing, well both of them do, but the third one, Type-On 3, is a little darker. It sometimes can leave a darker line of glue. But we're going to go ahead and grab some clamps and get everything together, and we'll show you how to glue these three pieces together. The trick to gluing these three pieces of wood together, other than having the grain perpendicular to one another, is to make sure that when applying the wood glue, you get 100% coverage on the spot that's being glued and 100% coverage on the other side. So, what we're going to do is just take the wood glue, apply a little layer on this side. It doesn't need to be a lot, just enough to cover it. And then either using a glue roller or spreader or a finger, spread that glue out so that way it covers the entire side of the piece. Now, making sure that my grain is perpendicular, I'm going to put these two pieces together and just kind of rub them together a little bit. And then I'm going to take them apart. I'm going to check piece number two to make sure that there aren't any gaps. And I found a couple, so I'm just going to kind of spread that glue out again with my finger. Make sure there's 100% coverage. Replace my pieces back so the grain is still perpendicular. And now we're ready to glue the second part. So, same process. Put a little bit more glue on there. Spread the glue out with a finger so that way it gets 100% coverage on the piece. Put my next piece on with the grain perpendicular to the wenge. Kind of slide them around together. And now I'm going to remove them and that looks fantastic. That's completely covered. So, I've got my blank and I've got everything put together here. Got a little excess glue on my fingers. I'm just going to wipe on the bottom of here. Now the next most important thing is clamping pressure. These blanks are a little bit larger, and the reason that's for is so that way they're a little easier to drill. So I'm going to use a couple of these just small Irwin bar clamps here. I'm just going to grab one end with medium pressure, grab the other end with, again, kind of medium pressure. Um, the calls on the clamps prevent the glue from sticking to them, so you really don't have to worry about it as long as you have the little plastic feet on the clamps. Clamp number three. And now clamp number four. So once the clamps are all on with kind of a medium pressure to them, then I come back and I just kind of slowly ratchet up the pressure on them. You're going to get a little bit of glue squeeze out and that's going to be okay. So the blank's glued up. It's clamped down really well. All the grain is perpendicular to one another and there's 100% glue coverage between each seam. So when this comes out, every ring blank that's drilled from it isn't going to have any gaps in it, it isn't going to have any weak areas, it's going to be well glued together and laminated. So that is how you laminate together a blank for making a wooden ring. 